Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming and welcome back to another MLB The Show 19 Down Dynasty position rankings video and this is the second one. This is my MLB The Show 19 first baseman catcher ratings. Um, I will be ranking every position, the top 10, with two honorable mentions across the span of the next month and a half all the way until MLB 20 comes out really. So... Yeah, today we're doing first baseman, and another thing I want to say is I'm going to be, just from here on out until MLB 20 comes out, I'm going to be doing these videos and just a bunch of videos on the uh, the developer streams and like the new news about MLB 20. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first baseman rankings. And our second honorable, well, our number two honorable mention is going to be the only 99 that's not on this list. And it's going to be 97 Freddie Freeman. Now, there are guys like this Josh or like this Keith Hernandez, um this Josh Bell and Paul Canerco and there's some other guys too. But Lou Gehrig, I don't even know why I just said Lou Gehrig. Hold on. So, Freddie Freeman, right? 111.95 versus righties, 93.82 versus lefties, 86 vision, gold fielder. The reason why he is an honorable honorable mention instead of these guys is just he does better. He does. He's just a better hitter. Josh Bell is a better hitter overall, but his fielding is not good. That's why he's worse than Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman's a better hitter than Keith Hernandez. So. Our second honorable mention, as my phone keeps turning off, which has the list. Thanks, thanks, phone. Uh, our second honorable mention is going to be a, is going to be a 99, and it's going to be Paul Goldschmidt. Now he's a really good hitter. He's sort of fast for a first baseman, but all the other first basemen are just miles ahead of him. That's why he's number, or that's why he's number 11. And you'll see that this position is completely stacked. All right, number 10 is going to be Eddie Murray. Now, Eddie Murray, overall, fantastic hitter. Really good vision, really good contact, really good power, and really good defense. And he's a switch hitter, too, which is pretty good. Number 9 is going to be someone who is probably one of the better cards, but based on his value, he drops tremendously. Willie McCovey is probably top 4, top 5 hitting-wise. He is 103, 116 versus righties, 89, 99 versus lefties. Bad fielding, but he's insane at the plate. The reason why he's number nine is because he's worth 700K, because he's a BR flawless reward. You'll see another one of those be pretty low because of that. Then number eight is going to be, in my opinion, he's number one. The by these cards, how I've played with them, he's number one. But overall, in general, he has to be number eight. Let me set up a little bit. So, Joey Votto, I hit so well with him in the game. He's my favorite card every year. He has really good hitting stats. 125 discipline. He's a good fielder, too. And he's a lefty, too. And I like lefties. 117-100 righties versus righties. 107-92 versus lefties. And then 92 vision with 125 discipline. You're pretty much going to get every check swing to go your way with that 125 discipline. So he's really good for me, and he'll be really good for you. Uh, number seven is going to be Harmon Kilover. Harmon Kilover is a very good hitter. His fielding is low. And that's why he isn't higher. Um, also, he can play third and left, which is another boost. That's why he's ahead of Joey Votto, is because his hitting overall is better, and he has secondary positions. Only reason why he's higher than Joey Votto. Then number six is going to be another BR flawless reward, Jimmy Fox. Overall, I think I would put him at number one, but the thing is, is that his price is derailing this card. Easily the best hitting first baseman in the game. Maybe Frank Thomas, you can say, is better. He's a silver fielder, but he can also play third. I'm surprised he doesn't have catcher on that card. Um, but just because he's so expensive, because he's a BR reward, is why he's only number five. Number four is going to be Jeff Bagwell. He's a, a little worse of a hitter than Jimmy Fox, but he has the fielding, and he has a good he has a good stub value. That price is pretty accurate for that card. 
That's why I have him ahead of Jimmy Fox, because no card should be worth 738k. Number three is not going to be on the auction house. Is we're going to go to my team actually, because I own him, but he's not on my team. It's going to be Frank Thomas. Now Frank Thomas, he is a really good hitter. 125, 125 versus lefties. 111, 107 versus righties. He's a really bad fielder. That's why he's number three, and he's not number two, number one. Number two, I do not own. Number two, I'm going to go to the market, go to first base, and I'm going to go. And just as I realize, I skipped Pete Alonzo. So I went from Harmon Killaboo, Killab or I went from Jimmy Fox to Jeff, uh, to Jeff Bagwell, and I said that Fox was fifth. Fox is actually sixth. And this Pete Alonso is actually number five. 92, 80 contact, fully maxed out power. And eh, fielder, but that power is really good. And he has 83 vision, which is solid. He's also not that expensive. So he's number five. I accidentally skipped him. So we're going to go to number two now. And that is going to be Lou Gehrig. Now, Lou Gehrig is a really good card. Overall, I'd say third best hitting first baseman behind number one actually i don't know honestly but he's really he's a really good hitter 125 112 versus righties 119 106 versus lefties he's not a good fielder none of these first basemen are good fielder except for a couple and number one is albert pujols now overall hitting wise i i would take him over anyone except for jimmy fox fielding 86 really good out of all the guys from this list. All right. Plays first, third, and left. Overall, he has so much more value. He can do pretty much everything for you, except maybe stealing bases. So, yeah. Albert Pujols is my number one. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, this was my only the show 19 first baseman rankings. Uh, I've been your host, Nick from Begins Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.